my name's Ian Campbell. I'm uh, the community custodian, which um, basically means I look after the building at the Strand uh, in normal times anyway, uh, doing room bookings and uh, looking after the building, liaising with contractors, health and safety aspects and general DIY maintenance. Well, I've got to say, it's probably one of the most challenging 12 months of my life. Um, and most rewarding as well, actually. Um, it's only when you get involved in these projects, including the pantries and delivery of food to people who really rely on it and need it, that you realise that sometimes there's things going on in the world that you're not aware of or you're only obliquely aware of. Uh, and it brings it home when you have to deal with these issues. So yeah, it's been a rewarding 12 months, but really busy. I think it changed because right at the start of the pandemic, I don't think RBH were as aware as they could have been, actually, if I'm being brutally honest, about just how much need that out, there is out there for the pantry system. Mm. Um, I delivered to some of the vulnerable people on the estates before that was taken off me. Um, and other people did it because I was moved to do other things. Mm. And some of the people out there on the estate, they, they really do live hand to mouth. They really are in very difficult straits. They had no family support during the COVID pandemic. Um, social services and some of the other partner agencies were really pulled out, as you know, because of the demand locally. So there was a danger that these people could have feel, sort of fallen in the cracks. Uh, and fortunately they didn't because I think collectively around Kakol, there was a real community spirit. It was almost like a blitz spirit where mm -hmm. people pulled together and made referrals. Mm -hmm. Uh, and all the RBH teams got involved and made referrals to us. Mm. Uh, and so lots of people out there um, rely totally <coughs> on their membership of the pantries. Mm. RBH has always had um, an advantage over a lot of organisations in terms of its reach with partner agencies and the communities that they serve in terms of how they get information in, how they deal with people. It's a very fair, honest and equitable organisation, RBH, I found since I worked for it. So I think that has brought people who would have fallen through the cracks on board and we've been able to support them. We work in partnership with the Veterans Agency, as you know, um, and every week without fail, they would turn up, they'd cook, uh, pre-prepared meals, which could be frozen, and I'd deliver them out to uh, some of the ILS schemes and the shelters, etc. Uh, and that was quite heartwarming, really, because, uh, for instance, we did an operation at Christmas where they set out to do a Christmas meal for everybody. Uh, and that was coordinated from Ashton Curzon Football Club with Nolu Leeds of Veterans, mobilised a big team, RBH were involved logistically in terms of taking crates and um, cooking utensils and things like that down to them. We got it all going, they cooked from memory, it's about 1200 meals which were distributed around Rochdale. Uh, and it's fair to say that those in most need had access to a Christmas dinner. Mm. Mm. Uh, and that was on the back of us working with the veterans team as well. Mm. And that was quite rewarding and heartwarming actually. Because when we went into some of the ILS schemes and the sheltered accommodation and we gave this over, the, re the response was overwhelmingly positive. From there were a lot of people who were isolated socially uh, and physically because of the need to isolate for the pandemic. And just that few minutes at the door uh, mm. from a morale and from a mental health point of view made all the difference to a lot of people. Undoubtedly, people would have gone hungry, I think, because um, logistically we would have struggled to get things out to people, you know, because we don't just provide food from the pantry service as well. Essential items such as sanitary products, uh, cleaning items, pet food sometimes from the donations, you know, so holistically we were able to service a lot of needs within the community. I think if we hadn't been able to do that, people would have been in real difficulties and would have really struggled. Mm -hmm.